Matt Nichols found out at 7.30 a.m. on Tuesday that his season was over after one quarter, less than a quarter, 14 minutes of the first half of the first exhibition game. The guy who suffered such a horrific ankle injury in the Eastern semifinal has lost the entire season. Uh, well, obviously it's tough uh, feeling like I, I, I did everything I needed to do to, to put myself in a position this year uh, that I was in. And, uh, you know, obviously it's tough, but, um, you know, something for every reason. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm uh, you know, being tested a little bit, and um, I don't think you'll find a more positive guy about it. And so I feel like it's something I can fully recover from. Um, you know, try again next year. Uh, but basically, you know, I plan on I plan on being here. I plan on being an extra set of eyes. You know, I can sit here and think about it and think, you know, yeah, it was a preseason game. I probably should have just let him score. But um, I think just natural instincts take over. Anytime you throw an interception, you know, you're taught from a young age that you go and chase the guy down. So, with Nichols out for the count, that of course leaves Mike Riley as the number one quarterback of the Eskimos the rest of the way. The question now is who is the second string quarterback? Is it 40 year old Kerry Joseph or is it one of the two rookies who have yet to play a regular season minute? Surprising thing probably was the uh, reaction of Nichols in terms of emotion. He seemed to have his emotions well in check, was uh, very well spoken, obviously. Uh, put some words together that, that showed his desire to be back and uh, right back in the mix, mix with a long career ahead of him with the Edmonton Eskimos. Moving forward, I think that they've seen the things that I can do on the field and in the locker room um, with the support that I've had from fans and my teammates. I think that it shows that I do things the right way. I'm Terry Jones.